My husband Julius is a captain of a tanker vessel for 10 years now. As usual, he travels. This time, he would spend many months at the sea. <laughs> I will so miss you, darling. Bet the party draws near. <sighs> I have to put my tailor under pressure to get my dress ready today.
I asked him out on a date to say thank you. He was very lively and fun to be with. For the second time, I forgot to wear my wedding ring. Everything moved fast and I lost my senses quickly. We did this. We made love over and over again. I thought it felt good. <laughs> Thank you. 
But the day I remembered to put on my wedding ring, mm -hmm. the questions started coming. <laughs> this is the story of a woman that cheated on her husband when he was far away working at sea. Babe, uh, there's something I was going to ask you. What? This. What, what about it? I don't know, just... Hey! Hey! What's wrong with you? I only asked about the ring and you're acting strange. I've been unfaithful to my husband. Yes. I'm married. What? I'm a wife. You're married? And you didn't tell me? I know. I'm sorry. That's why I said it's my bad. Your husband think you're having an affair with Alex. I mean, there's nothing to fear now. Alex is just your friend and nothing attached, so you don't have it. You don't. You don't need to worry, right? No, that that that's the problem. Hmm? Um, I've I've actually been sleeping with Alex. Eh? Me, 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 look, I. I'm so sorry. I know. I I, I should have told you. I just know. I, I, I don't know what else to do. I've messed up. Mira, please don't leave me. If you leave me, I will just die. You. <sighs> wow. You you mean you have been sleeping with Alex, and you didn't tell. All right, fine. So, what do you want to do now? I want to confess to my husband. Are you okay? You'll be 
be very angry with you, don't you know that? I know. I, I know you'll be upset, you'll be mad at me, you'll be angry, but my conscience will not allow me. I have to tell it to him. I have to just say it and and, and free myself, sort this whole thing once and for all. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. If you ask me, I'll suggest that you don't tell him yourself. Tell somebody that he respects a lot. So tell him. That way you can have a soft landing. My husband and I don't allow a third party in our relationship. Oh! Look, this is my mistake. I, I, I will just tell it to him and wh whatever the consequences is, I will face it. I, I just need to do this thing and let it off my mind. I, I'm, I'm carrying this huge body and it's, it's so heavy on me. I just... Look, okay, um... So that means you have to tell him as soon as possible to get it off your chest, right? I, I don't know what else to tell you, like... Alright, just... Let, let me know how it goes, you know? I really don't know what else to tell you. Yeah. I hope you, you won't hate me for this. Hate? Why would I hate you? No. It's just... I understand, okay? We'll get through this. Alright, so let me know how it goes. Alright? I like this. What do, you, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, an electrical engineer. Hey, babies. Hey. Hey. Welcome. How are you? How are you? Good, good. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Fantastic. Hey, you know, your son just made me the happiest father alive. Oh, his results? <laughs> Fantastic. Even in economics, A2. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. And then guess what? We're gonna celebrate this. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a very good one. Yeah. That's my boy. Yes, yeah, so it's like father like son. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so baby, tell me, what do you think we should do for him? And the young man is here, we should ask him. What do you want? Mm. Okay, um, take me to Paris for my next vacation. Paris? And then take me to the mall for shopping. And yes. that's not a bad idea, you go to Paris. Uh, and Ooh. I also need the PS4. Okay. Uh, fine, PS4. perfect. But well, going to the shopping mall today is not... Um, it's not for it. Don't worry. Mom has spoken. Because he deserves it. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Huh? Well, you're gonna get everything. Just keep this up. Huh? You're spending my money right. No, Nick. See? We cannot compare the Nigerian Civil War with the Second World War. For so many reasons. Like the weapons used. And although Nigeria did win the Civil War against Biafra, we failed to heal the wounds. Unlike the Second World War, where the former enemies are now friends. So, the policy by the Gong government didn't heal the wound? Well, the evidence, as we see, doesn't state that. If the wounds had been healed, you will never hear the word Biafra today. And for the wounds from a war to be healed needs a new order of fairness and genuine reconciliation for enemies to now become friends. Okay. Okay? Yeah, okay. Babe? Why are you picking your food? Um, nothing is. It's, it's just a recurring headache. Um, but I'm, I'm fine. Mom, it looks like I'm going to ask for more. Oh, uh, very well then. It's your day. You can have as much as you want. Thanks, Mom. So, finally, Nick, when people disagree or go to war, there's always for a reason. Okay? Now enough of the history. Get your food. Okay. Hi dear. I don't believe I'm still in the office at this time. So tell me, how did it go? I came back home to meet a happy family. And 
the mood was really happy. There was no way I, I would say such thing to spoil the mood. I, I, I could not. I could not just spoil the mood. That's why I didn't talk about it at all. Yes. We don't want to throw your entire family into a saddened all because you want to confess. This whole confessing thing is... I know it is my idea. Yes, I agree. But, but, but then, I can't just, just say it at that time now. I, I just need to, to, to know the right time to say it. No, not then. Girl, do. Where is Julius? He's in the bedroom. Honestly, I've been... I've, I've, I've been... Look straight in his eyes. This whole thing, I feel so guilty. I feel so ashamed. It's... Oh, goodness. I know. Look, if you ask me, I still feel you shouldn't tell him today or get someone that he respects to tell him. No, 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 no. That's not a good idea at all. That will now show that I'm telling the world that I'm an adult. Look, Julius would rather handle this thing by himself in his own way. He don't. He just don't want. He would not want a third party to interfere in our marital affairs. That's true. You have a point. But have you ever thought about it? That what if you tell him he gets really angry and then he struggles you at night, or he wakes up and, and stabs you or something? I know that's drama, but I'm just saying, tread softly. You know what? I will go ahead and confess to him. Then I'll wait. I just need to let this thing off my chest. It's just, it's killing me. I, I need to just let it off my chest. Please, just, just keep your phone line open, okay? So that I can reach you if, if there's anything, if there's any emergency, if anything goes wrong, all right? My line is always open for you. Please, just be careful, okay? Thank you so much, Mira. You, you've been so helpful. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll keep you posted, okay? I pray that it, it goes well without any drama or violence. Okay, take care. All right, all right, bye. <sighs> Baby, come on now, come on. I've been gone for six months. Now I'm back and I can't touch you? Really? Come on, baby. It's just this recurring headache. I feel so weak and tired. It's okay, baby. It's I don't okay. know. It's, it's all right. It's all right. Okay, that's what you should have said. Should have take my calls, you will not reply my chats and my text messages. Alex, I'm talking to you. You have no right to barge in here and rant at me. After all I've sacrificed for you, ranting is the word you use to qualify me. What have I done to you? Why are you treating me bad? What did I do to you? You know this is domestic violence, right? I know what this is all about. And I'll prove it to you. And when I'm done, I will deal with you. They will see.
What are you doing here? No, I need you to listen to me. How, how did you find my house? Gabby, listen to me. I don't know how we got to this point. I don't know how all of this started. But this is the worst thing I've ever done in my life. All my life. Myself. I, I, I know. You, you know what? I beg you in God's name. This is where my family stay. If you truly love me, please don't even come around. I love you, Gabby. <laughs> I love you. Just Piracy. Yeah. What are you guys doing studying that kind of book? To find out why pirates take so much risks to rob at seas. Ah. Well, I'll help you out. Okay. Now, there are two main reasons why pirates do that. One, because they love risky adventures. Okay. And then two, because they hope to see a vessel which they can isolate and rob. Oh. Now, does that answer your curiosity? Uh, yeah, it does, but I'll still like to read the book myself. I know you do. Uh, please, take, take, take. Drop it in the kitchen for me. Gabby, what's the matter? You've been acting strange ever since I came back. Um, it's nothing, I'm fine. Well, I know you well enough to know when there's something wrong with you. You know, you could tell me anything, I could handle it. What's the matter? It's nothing. I'm, I'm all right. Well, yeah. You be careful, okay? You tell me more about the see whatever you read, okay? okay. Alright. Anyway, babe. Uh, I gotta run. Okay, I need to meet up with the agent. You know, I'm traveling soon. Oh, well, uh, okay. Alright, I'll be back soon. <laughs> it's because you're gonna miss me. Honey. <laughs> huh? I love you. See you soon. Okay. Cheryl. Hello, Mira. Good morning. Um, I, I think um, it's the right time to talk with him. Well, he just assured me that he can handle anything and that if anything is bothering me, I should just talk to him about it. You know, I realized there's something new about this car. The sound has improved. Drastically. <laughs> well, that's because I changed the mechanic. Really? Mm hmm I found this new garage. They are very good. So I had to fix all the cars. Wow, amazing. I fixed all the cars. Nice, nice. I like it. Well, let me take it for a spin, okay? I'll see you later. Um, um... Th there's something I need to confess to you. What's up, babe? While you were away, I I cheated on you. What? I had an affair. I don't know what came over me. I just I, I honestly 
I, I, I don't know. I, I can't explain it. I don't know what came over me. I don't, I don't know what came over me. I just... I'm sure it's the death. I don't even know. I don't, I don't know what came over me. It, it was the devil. I don't even know anymore. I don't know what came over me. You... Julius, you know I love you so much and I, I, I cannot do anything to hurt you. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. My heart is so heavy. I have to confess to you. It was a mistake. It was, it was the devil. J Julius. Julius, look. Julius. While you were away, I, I I cheated on you. What? I had an affair. <laughs> the only thing he said is, you what? And then he drove out of the house. <laughs> Mary, I don't know what I've done. I've destroyed my home. I have destroyed my marriage. Calm down. Did he plan to go out today? No, no, no. He just said he was going to see an agent. And when he comes back, I'll, I'll make the confessions. I don't know. Will he ever come back to the house? Will, will he ever forgive me? Will he? Look, I, I don't know honestly, but I don't think we should lose hope. I don't know what I've done. I don't know why I cheated on Julius. Will, will he ever forgive me? Will, will he come back to me? Will I, is there anything I can do to be back his strength? Who are you talking to? Gabby. Hello? Hello, Gabby. Talk to me now. Is everything okay? It, 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 it's Mira. Why? No. I don't, I don't know what to do. I just needed to confide on someone. So that the world can know that you're an adulterous woman, right? Give me your phone. I have never cheated on you. Not once. I'm sorry. Why did you cheat on me? Julius, I, I don't know what came over me. I swear I have never cheated on you. I, I really do not know what came over me. Where's my son? It's, it's not back. Look, if you do any, anything to help me right now, I, 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 I will accept to blame you. I, I, it's all my fault. I swear, I don't know what came over me.
instincts hmm? tell me that the only thing that has made you go crazy must be another woman. You have not only gone crazy, but you have gone mad. I have discovered her. She's Gabby, right? I shall see her and sort her out and conclude with you, fool. How did you know her name? Wait. to find out where this guy believes today. He was really furious. So enraged. <laughs> Honestly, if he had done anything to me while he was angry, I would, I would not blame him. The whole thing is my fault. I messed up. I messed up big time. I, I won't blame him saying that. It's okay. I mean, the most important thing is that you confess to him. Right? So the guilt in your heart will slowly ease out. It will take time. Now, the next stage is to find a way to get his full forgiveness. Or know what his next line of action will be. Truth is, Julius may never forgive me. Don't say that. But it's fine. It's my heart, my mind, my conscience is at peace right now because I've been able to confess to my husband, told him the truth about everything. Honestly, even if he asks for a divorce, I will not blame him. It's all my fault. I really don't know what came over me. I just... It's okay. 
wait, wait, wait. I, I, I don't think that you just make up your mind and conclude that Jesus is going to divorce me, you know? Even the Bible recognizes adultery as a reason why couples may divorce. Even at that, even at that, I still think that you can find somebody he respects, somebody like family <laughs> that can intervene on your behalf. That's going to make things worse. Trust me. How can you be I so sure? You before, we don't allow a third party interfere in our marital issues. If, if I try that one, it's just going to scatter everything. It has to be between the both. I have to sort this out with him. Not to involve somebody else. I'm just so thinking, just making me go mad. I don't know what to do anymore. It's my fault. I don't know how I got myself into this mess. Jesus. Jesus. What's he doing here? To see her. Do you do you understand the seriousness of the situation? I can't live without you even for a day. Her husband is upstairs. He's upstairs. You have to leave. I love you, Gabby. Let's work out a plan. Say something. I love you so much. Oh. Gabi, we have to work out a plan. There is nothing to work out. Nothing. You and I, there is nothing to work out. Do you understand? Please, 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 just, just leave me alone. I beg you, please, just let me be. Leave me alone. If I was not Listen, back. divorce your husband and get married to me. I'll make you the happiest woman in your life. I'm going to love you like no man has ever loved you. You know what? Listen, listen, I will arrange You came into my life, you gave me everything. And now you want to walk away? No. Listen, listen, I have a brilliant idea. I swear it's going to work. I'm going to set up a meeting and we will meet you. You guys can talk. Yeah, you, you guys will see. see. Trust me. Oh, you have to believe me now. I promise. You talk. Promise. I promise. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm very good. Is that your son? Yes. He looks like you. Oh, really? Thank you. All right, so we'll return the goods and tell you how it goes. Exactly. Everything yes. worked like we, we talked about the, the done deal. And, right? We'll bring this back tomorrow for the repairs. Yes. Come. They admitted to themselves that they are madly in love with each other. She has been able to cure her own madness somehow. But Alex... Alex remains madly in love with her. Since Mira is aware of the issue, why don't you tell us why and how you had an affair while I was at work? Ah, uh, sir, that won't be necessary. I, I don't think I need to... Please, Mira, allow her to explain herself in your presence. Thank you. I... I... I left the house that day to my tailor's place. To, to collect the dress she, she, she was supposed to make for me for my next event. And, and when I got to her place, she was very busy. I had to pack somewhere and wait for her. And then, 
he walked past me and he noticed that the car was not sounding right. We, we both checked and found out that it was actually, there was actually something wrong with the car. I don't know whatever he did on the car, but it became better and then he, he recommended a mechanic to me and I collected his, I gave him my number, I collected his number. What's his name? Alex. I deliver dangerous cargoes. Sailed and braved the sea storms. Almost encountered sea pirates attacks. All to provide for my family. And be a good husband. And yet my wife decides to be unfaithful to me. So you are Gabi? You are Gabi! I'm sorry, do we know you? See this picture? Look at it, look at it! I hope you don't deny this! You left your husband to frolic with my fiancé! MY FIANCÉ! Madam, would you please calm down? This is not your house now. What is your own in this? Uh, adulterous, shameful act. Claire! Madam, it's okay now. I have left Alex finally. For you to run to his aid. Enough. After I finish with him. Enough. This is my house, okay? And you cannot barge in here and accuse anyone, so, so please get out. I did not come here to accuse her. I came here to confront her with her shameful act. And I'm so okay now. You have the man of the house. Come and be going. And I hope that she'll be faithful to you again. We have heard you. It's okay. Be going. Slots. Come and be going. Oh, she. Be going. Mm. I don't want to talk to Alex. Babes, you have to talk to him. <sighs> Alex is very pushy and desperate, and that makes him dangerous. The only way we can curb this infatuation of his is to go and see him. And I was thinking, offer him some sum of money. <sighs> That's like saying he's blackmailing me already. Well, technically, it's... <sighs> That's him. about we already talked about this okay fine i'll follow you i promise i'll follow you oh, picky, 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 picky. <clears throat> hello hey babe my love what do you want i want to see you i want to see you i need to see you remember you both promised to see me 2 p.m today same place. Blue restaurant, right? Okay, but, but, but please don't, don't don't keep me waiting, all right? Hello? My love. Hello? All right, so um we'll walk out if we go together and make him an offer he can't refuse. Oh god. I'm in a big mess. I just need God to help me sort this whole thing. I'm just Don't think that I still love and want you in my life is the reason why you're still here. Have you come to rant at me again? I know you're never remorseful. And I don't care. You're just a gold digger. 
After all I've invested in you, financially, emotionally, my time. Alex, you still had the ungrateful nature to sleep and fall in love with another man's wife. You must be out of your mind. Do you know why? <laughs> Wait a second. What do you take me for? You leave me here by myself in the name of, oh, I'm always busy at work. What do you think I do when you're not around? Of course I go into the bathroom and jack off. That's what I do. Look at me. I have blood and emotions running all over my body. My darling, you just don't know how to fit into my heart here. Ow! Oh. You slapped me because you know I'll never hit you, right? I slapped you because you are a fool! You don't know how dangerous it is when a woman is conned. Okay. There you go. Excuse me. This is my house, Alex. And I want you to pack your things and leave this house before the end of today. And if you don't, I will call the police and I will have you locked up. You know I have the connection. Before the end of today, don't test me. Don't test me. I'm glad you came back. Do you remember this place? We had a great time here. I want all of that back, baby. Look, Alex. I'm not here so we can continue in our sense. I'm here to present an offer for your time and emotional stress I must have cost you. My time, my emotional stress, you said. Gabby, what the hell are you talking about? I think what she means is that we are willing to give you some money to stay away from her forever. So I think the question is, how much do you want? How much do I want? Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, how much do you have? Good. One million naira. It's a lot of money. And that's, and that's the highest you can offer. Plus, you have to sign an agreement to stay away from me forever. Forever. Forget about me. <laughs> Ladies, I don't want your money. No, I don't. <sighs> Gabby, I love you. I want you to marry me, Gabby. <laughs> but I am married, Alex. I can't marry you. I am married. Besides, Alex, I cannot break my marriage because of you. Mira, I told you this whole thing is not going to work. No, no, you just, like just, like just, like just, like just calm down. Look, hello. We can start Do by... not start anything further. The only thing you are allowed to start is accepting to be my wife. <laughs> this discussion is over. And I don't want to ever see you again in my life, not around my house. Here, are, let's go. You know, now it's a lot of money. Even the Bible says a man is free to divorce his wife if she commits adultery. And then Alex's girlfriend comes to the house to my house to embarrass you, my wife. <laughs> mm. 
Look at you. I'm telling you, you're pathetic. And I'm so disappointed. I swear. I confess to you because you're my husband. And you're the head of my family. I know I've hurt you. I've hurt you deeply. And even if you file for a divorce right now, it cannot heal the wound I have caused you. I would have involved an external family member to mediate on my behalf, but I wanted you to handle things in your own way as the head of my family. Let me ask you a question. What, what, what am I supposed to do? Act like it never happened? I have pleaded. I have begged for forgiveness over and over again. Julius, I have hurt you. And I regret it. I am deeply remorseful for everything I have done to you. The option of forgiving me or not is in your hands. This. For the opt-in time. Hello. Yeah, who are you? What are you doing now? Um, let's say the door was unlocked, so I came in. I'm here to see Gabby. Who are you? Just tell her Alex is here to see her. Oh, you're terribly bold. This is my house! I know. I'm just a visitor. Well, who invited you? Hey, Gabby! Who is this? Would you tell this to the real man before I lose my mind? Um, you know how to rethink about, you know, the offer. And that deal is off. Yeah, I'm trying to control my mind. And yet you maintain communication with him? She offered me one million. And, and that, that, that's for you to stay away from me permanently. But, but because we are bragging about it, I can't forget. Hey! Now listen to me. I'd advise you pay attention to your friend's advice. Or what? Do you realize that you're trespassing? She is my wife! I could call the police and have you arrested right now! For what? For adultery? <laughs> Bro, you and I know she doesn't love you anymore, man. So just get with the program. Out of my house. What? Get out of my house. Uh. Gabby, are you alright? Baby, would you get your hands off my wife? She's dying, babe! What? Baby. Gabby, we need to take her to the hospital. Help, help, help me here. Get your hands off! Julius, you were so frantic on the phone. What's he doing here? Here. Where is Gabby? He had the F on Terry to walk into my house and claim rent. Anyway, as he was ranting, Gabby suddenly collapsed in and started bleeding. What? Where's the doctor? Have you spoken to him? Doctor! Please tell us what's, what's the matter. Well, um, I'd advise all of you to stay calm, okay? Oh, Doctor, how is she? I'm really sorry. What is it? She lost the pregnancy. What? Was she pregnant? 
Yes, she was two months pregnant. And um, I think she lost the pregnancy due to a lot of mental stress and trauma. We've tried all our best to stabilize her and all she needs right now is some rest. She was pregnant? The doctor said you needed to rest, but I said no, I have to come see my woman. How come you never told me you were pregnant? Oh, who, t who told you that? The doctor said you were two months pregnant, but you lost a child. I was going to be a father, but you lost my child out of stress from your husband. Where's my husband? Don't even call him your husband anymore. Because he's not. He hates you now. <sighs> the devil comes only to steal and to destroy. That boy Alex is the devil himself. He steals your wife. Destroys your home. Mira tried. Look, Julius, sitting down here won't help anything. I don't know. I'm just so devastated. How could she be so cheap? It's bad enough she had an affair. And now she's pregnant by him. This is what she does all the years while I, I leave to go to work. This is what she does. She, 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 she looks for men and... No. Look, you're very angry and very bitter and I can understand that. But don't let this bitterness cloud your heart from seeing those good things about her. Your son, please, don't let it destroy what you've built with her. It's over between me and her. No, Julius. I need you to fight. I need you to fight for what you have. Look beyond what has happened. Because if you let her go, you will never be a happy man for the rest of your life. I need you to go into that word and tell him to get out. Tell him to leave your wife the hell alone. Please, fight for her. Alex, I regret the day I met you. I regret ever stooping morally low to have an affair with you. No. You can't. Remember you told me I was fun to be with? That was in the past. That was me when I was mad. All that was in the past. Not anymore. Please. You've caused me so much trouble. You've caused me so much pain in my marriage. Can you just let me be? Can you just go. Alex. Alex, just go. Just get out of here. Get out of this work. Leave my family alone. Don't stress yourself, don't stress yourself, okay? 
Gabby, go back. My donkey. It's oh. going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. trying to say is this okay mistakes people make mistakes people are bound to make mistakes all right and speaking about mistakes i'll do whatever it takes to to make it up to you uh listen i i know i messed up a few times all right and i know you hate me so much but i, I just need you to give me another chance to make it up to you wait please forgive me under one condition. I'll do whatever, baby. You have to write an undertaking. What? Yes. Promising you'll never misbehave with me again. Two. That you'll submit to me and only me. And then you have to toast me all over again. Okay, so now I'm signing papers, right? Because of a woman, right? This is bullshit. Chooks. You know, I can't believe my girlfriend, Allison, asked me to put in writing and sign that I will never cheat on her again before she accepts me back into her life. You know, now I feel like, um, I feel that's complete bullshit. I feel like an errand boy right now. Alex. 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 How many times did I call you? Three times. Alex, I am your friend. And I will tell you the truth. Just look at what you've been through for the past months. Six months of madness with another man's wife. But that's not why we are here anyway. I will advise you as a friend. Do exactly what Alison asked you to do. Write whatever she asked you to write. Go back to her. Plead for her forgiveness so that she will forgive you your mess. This girl has always been by your side. This house you stay, she pays the bill. She feeds you. And based on what I heard, she, 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 she what? So that's all she told you? She pays the rent. She feeds me. Is that all she told you? Or she didn't tell you what happens in the bedroom? She didn't tell you how she screams my name when I'm on top of her? I chill. You know what? That's enough. Don't tell me my life history, okay? That's fine. Now you're on too much, Shaq.
I will have to make amends with Alex quickly. I think I haven't really been there for him. I genuinely love him. I would like for you to do something for me. Do what, my love? You know I'll do anything for you. Close your eyes. Close my eyes. Just that. Okay, eyes closed for you. Open your eyes. I... I love you so much. And I know I have messed up a few times. But I am ready to make it up to you right here and right now. So will you marry me? Oh my god, Alex. Yes! <laughs> I'll marry you! <laughs> oh my god! I guess everyone is listening to what they get. But I am listening to her view. I love you. Alex is away for good. My sins have been forgiven and forgotten forever. Now is the time to enjoy my family and live happily as always before. My advice to the married women is that you never, never cheat on your husbands. And for the men, if you found out your wife had been cheating on you, I think you should do it the Julius way. Forgive. 
forgiving each other prevents a lot of damages. Yeah. <laughs>